Here are some of the new features in Vitin 13. The new details component allows you to reveal or hide content when you click the header. Similarly, you can use the accordion component to toggle the display of sections of content. The new login form and login overlay classes make it simple to implement login screens. The time picker component includes options for setting a locale, a range, and the intervals used to make it easy to select the time of the day. The email field component is useful to quickly allow entering an email address, especially on mobile devices with specific UI controls for this. The number field component shows buttons to increase and decrease the numeric value and enables dedicated UI controls on mobile devices as well. The select component is a lightweight alternative to combo box and now there is a Java API for it in Vadin 13. Also starting with Vadin 13, you can now create input fields by using the custom field class to wrap a set of UI components in a single composite field. There's also a new compact theme preset based on Lumo that reduces the visual space required by components to better fit a large amount of content on the screen. Other features in Vine 13 include the possibility to enable auto select on text fields, password fields, and text area fields when the component gets the focus. You can also enable a clear button in these components, something pretty handy in search fields or filters. For Pro Prime and Enterprise subscribers, there is a new extension to the grid component called Grid Pro, which includes additional high-level functionality to, for example, easy inline data editing, and a new rich text editor with specific UI controls to enable advanced formatted text input and output. To learn more about what's new in Vadin 13, visit vadin.com.